Hey church kids, it's Mr. Damon and we are so glad you're here today. Do you know that you can join church kids from around the world and meet church kids pastors every single Sunday in our digital parties? That's right, you can join and we want you there. So moms and dads, all you have to do is text the phrase digital party, all one word, to 97,000 to join today. Welcome, church kids! I'm so excited that you're here! It's gonna be the best day ever! Yeah, I said the best day ever! I mean, I think there's a fly in here, but it's still gonna be the best day ever, church kids, because today we're talking about the book of... the book of... Uh, oh, oh wait, Alex! Alex, do you have a fly swatter? No, I don't. Uh, it's on the lens! It's on the lens, okay! Uh, I got this! I got this! I see it! I see it! Here we go! Oh! Kendall! You hit me! Oh, man! That... It slipped! Oh, oops! Church kids, I got a missed. I'm sorry, Mr. Alex. I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's almost as if that fly was, like, unsquishable! Speaking of unsquishable, Today, church kids, well, today we have the question of the week. Have you ever tried to squish a fly? Because let me tell you this, right here, right now, it is not easy. You might miss, and that fly is gonna fly away and enjoy the rest of its life so unbothered by your fly swatter, or maybe your giant trash can that you tried to throw at the fly and you missed. But Today we're talking all about how Jesus wants to give you a joy that cannot be squished by bad circumstances. Before we get started, there are a few things we should know about the book of Philippians, because we'll be talking about it during today's story. Now the book of Philippians was written by the Apostle Paul, and he wrote this about 27 years after Jesus died on the cross. And he wrote this to a group of Christians that lived in Philippi. If you thought your town was old, this town is way older, church kids. And while he was writing this letter, he was writing it from prison. Now there's four things that the book of Philippians tells us about. The first one is finishing the race. The second one is serving others. The third one is how to have joy during hard times. And the fourth one is setting our mind on Jesus. Now. Let's get this story started. Let's take a look at the Bible. Now I want you to know, believers, that what has happened to me, this imprisonment that was meant to stop me, has actually served to advance the spread of the good news regarding salvation. Philippians 1, verse 12. The Bible tells us that Paul was in jail because he was telling people about who Jesus was. And even though he was in jail, he still had joy because Jesus gives us a joy that cannot be squished, even during bad circumstances. Now, here's the thing, church kids, it's not always easy. I mean, unhappy people are pretty much unhappy when unhappy things happen, right? Okay, well, happy people are happy when happy things happen. Right, that's pretty normal. But church kids, when we don't get our way, sometimes we can throw a pity party and we trade our smile in for a, don't talk to me, I am not happy right now face. Now, church kids, whenever we're pouting, we're kind of miserable, right? Yeah, and whenever we're pouting, we also make everyone around us feel miserable too. Is that how we wanna live our lives? No way, that's not how I wanna live my life. Jesus never intended that for us. He always had joy for us and he created us to live with that joy given to us from Jesus. Now, look at Paul. He was in jail, like moldy food, rats running around, couldn't go on vacation, and he still had the joy. Why? Because he knew that Jesus loved him. And whenever we know that, we have a joy inside of us. We have joy because Jesus loves us, not because we get what we want. That's not how it works at all. The Bible says this, you have, after all, stuck with me all the way from the time I was thrown in jail put on trial and came out of it in one piece. All along, you have experienced with me the most generous help from God. Philippians 1 verse seven and eight. 
God gave Paul all the help that he needed to have joy, even during bad circumstances. Imagine if we could live a life where we had joy all the time. Well, church kids, we can. God gives us a choice. And this is how he intended it to be. When he created you and me, he intended us to have that joy that lives inside of us through all kinds of circumstances. But at the end of the day, we can either choose to have a pity party or we can choose to have joy. So the next time someone says something to you that mm, you probably don't like that much, or the next time you don't get your way, the next time your parents do something that you really don't like, or maybe the next time you see a fly. Church kids, you have the opportunity to make a choice. Are we gonna have a pity party or are we going to choose joy? And church kids, I truly believe that we can choose joy from here on out because Jesus loves you so much and he has so much joy for all of us. We got this church kids, let's pray. God, we thank you that you can help us choose joy even when it doesn't feel like we should. God, that you're giving us a joy that can withstand any circumstance around us. We love you in Jesus name, amen. What a great message. Church kids, make sure that you talk to your parent today and ask them to text Digital Party to 97000 to join our Digital Parties happening every Sunday. We'll see you soon.